Hey everybody, this is First Warren Storm Team Chief Meteorologist Brad Penovich. I want to do a quick video on Hurricane Lane, which is going to impact the Hawaiian Islands here in the next 48 hours. I'm getting all kinds of crazy questions and I'm seeing stuff online that kind of baffles my mind, but I, I think I take for granted that a lot of people don't understand how hurricanes work in the Pacific as well as how volcanoes work. People will kind of have this uh, impression that the hurricane is somehow going to have an impact on the volcano. And let me tell you that it will have almost no impact at all on the hurricane. First of all, you got to look at the hurricane itself. How rare is it for hurricanes to form in the Central Pacific? It's not. People often confuse typhoons and hurricanes. Hurricanes are still called hurricanes in the Central and Eastern Pacific. They do not get the name typhoons until they cross the International Dateline, which is in the Western Pacific. So yes, they are still called hurricanes in the Central and Eastern Pacific. Now, it is somewhat rare that we see hurricanes near the Hawaiian Islands, but here's a historical look within 300 miles of the Hawaiian Islands, here's all the tropical storm or hurricane tracks. And the most infamous and strongest hurricane to ever hit the Hawaiian Islands was Hurricane Niki right here, which is this kind of pink line here back in 1992. It was a very strong hurricane. In fact, it was a category four as it crossed the northern tip of the islands. The other thing to remember about the Hawaiian Islands is the geography in and of themselves. Here's a kind of a wide look. I'm gonna widen this out. Here's where they are out in the central Atlantic. Now. People often think of Honolulu or the Big Island. It's a group of islands. Honolulu is up here. Hilo is down here. Now, what about the volcano? Here's the thing. Kilauea is erupting on the very southeast tip of the Big Island. So even based on the current forecast track, if you are going to think that this, this, the hurricane would have some impact at all on the on the volcano, the most of the storm is going to be out here. Now, the east side is always the worst, so there will be impacts on the Hawaiian Islands, but look how far away the actual volcano is from the hurricane. In fact, if you look, I'll go in real close, that's the main uh, caldera, but here's where it's been erupting on the southeast side of the island. So, uh, just from a geographic standpoint, the volcano is actually pretty far away, but you also need to know something about how volcanoes work out in the Atlantic. Now, this is the way the Hawaiian Islands formed. There's a hot spot under the Pacific Plate, and the Pacific Plate is moving. So the thing about rainfall on volcanoes, it has no impact at all because this mantle is coming from deep, or the mantle plume is coming from deep within the Earth's crust. And it actually starts as a volcano underwater. So here's the thing. The volcano is erupting underwater already. If the Pacific Ocean isn't stopping a volcano, how is a little bit of rain going to stop it? It's just not. So the thing about this is uh, people think it's like a forest fire or something that the volcano is going to get put out. It's not. The only way you stop the volcano from erupting is by shutting off this plume which is coming up deep within the crust a little bit of rain on kilauea which has been happening by the way for years it's been erupting continuously since 1983 is going to have no impact at all on the volcano in fact if there was going to be an impact you think the ocean would have stopped it to begin with but it doesn't it does cool some of the lava at the surface and call it cause it to harden quickly but that just diverts the lava to other locations it never really stops the flow of lava so just a little bit about hurricane lane and the hawaiian islands we'll be keeping an eye on it over the next couple of days the forecast track has it as a category three weakening as it pushes to the west of the islands it will become weaker because it's moving into slightly cooler water and a lot of wind shear so all this hype you see about a Category 4 or 5 hitting the Hawaiian Islands directly, it's not happening. It's not in the forecast right now. No direct impact is expected, but an indirect impact is likely with heavy rain, surf, as well as some pretty good swells, especially for the Central and Northern Islands up in here. There's likely going to be some big-time issues, and even on the western side of the Big Island. But remember, volcanoes over here, so impacts there will be very minimal. Have a great day.